We start with LeBron's <laughs> newest record, 40,017 points. When we talk about faces of the league, I saw this from Kendall Baker. He has a good newsletter. LeBron has more points than Magic and Bird combined. Here's LeBron on Instagram, uh, one of one, first NBA player ever. Uh, congrats, LeBron James. Again, not a huge fan of uh, receiving compliments, but that was. <laughs> oh, he didn't it's like that. No, he was not a fan. <laughs> he did it through gritted teeth. Uh, Drew, your reaction. Uh, my reaction is awe. All right, and th there are a lot of reasons to be awed with LeBron James in his career. But the first one that comes to my mind, like when I see him score 40,000 points, is he lived up to the hype. Yep. He lived up to the hype. And so many child prodigies don't. They just don't. For whatever reason, they don't live up to the hype. And here's the, an example. 14 high school athletes have been on the cover of Sports Illustrated, not including there was a quarterback, Julian Lewis, okay. who was one last year. He's still in high school. So mm. not including him, there's 14 high school athletes on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Here's when LeBron was on the cover as the chosen one. And of all those 14, here's the ones you'll know. Kevin Garnett and Bryce Harper outside of LeBron. When? No one else – Came close to living up the hype. Imani Bates was oh, on yeah. there, and, and he's obviously he's hitting league, hard times. Yeah. Sebastian Telfair, yeah. Yeah, he Jabari Parker. Yeah. Telfair made it to the league, but Jabari was, was top three pick, but didn't work Very out. Very disappointing. Yep. So, yeah. and, and before that, I mean, Rick Mount, you got all yeah. types of guys that just didn't live up to the hype. So, for LeBron to live up to the hype is incredible. And if you look, look at the top players in the NBA right now, uh, Giannis, Steph, Luka, Jokic, Embiid, none of them were child prodigies. Now, you can say it's because they didn't start playing until later because they were international or whatever it is. Look at what Jokic and Giannis were when they got into the league. Yeah. Luka they didn't might, average a Luka lot of points. I mean, not Luka, but um, Giannis and, and yeah. Jokic okay. yeah. when they got into the league. And, yeah, yeah. Luka, but overseas. So, yeah. he didn't have the hype here that, yeah, that and have. he was the third pick of his own draft. Even if people thought right. it was crazy, right. that, for whatever the pedigree was, he wasn't considered like this guy. Absolutely. And look at Zion, the yeah. pitfalls that can come sure. with Zion Williamson, Ja Morant, you know, or you just might, you know, you might be an early bloomer yeah. and then guys catch up. There was a guy in LeBron's crew, Willie McGee, that was at least as good as LeBron when they were in like eighth grade mm -hmm. and he was, but he was bigger than everybody and he didn't, you know, he was more of a full grown man than guys his age. So my point is for LeBron to live up to this is just awesome. I mean, all the hype he got, he's the most hyped basketball player ever because <laughs> Wimby, you again, overseas, yep. so it wasn't as hyped here in America. Kareem, it just was a different time. He was hyped for that period, yep. Yep. but he didn't have to deal with what LeBron did. Yep. And so, and last quickly, Nick, before you go, the longevity, these are some of the guys in history. I mean, we all know Wade, Carmelo, Bosch, all right? Luke Walton, who's been a coach, was a coach a while ago, yep. all right? Yep. Willie Green, the coach yeah. of the New Orleans Pelicans, James Jones, GM in Phoenix, president in Phoenix. So, like, he's the last one standing. So, his, the fact that he's lived up to the hype and then this longevity, which we've never seen. This is, it's him and Tom Brady as far as this type of longevity. Yeah. And it's just, it's awe-inspiring. And, and it is, I know people and on TV, but in regular life as well, can be prisoners of the moment. And I know that at times I've been called that. I try not to be. This will sound like it, but it won't be. It's unbreakable. Mm. It's uh, the, so, and it's unbreakable because I'll give you the ideas, then I'll give you the numbers. The, the, the ideas are very easy to follow. To break, LeBron was able to do this because he was the youngest to do everything and is now the oldest to do everything. Mm -hmm. he, he never got hurt. He played minutes that are now considered insane, 38 per game for his career. Yeah. For his career, right. 38 per game. He, and to, doing all of that while being a top five scorer for 15 different seasons while playing more minutes and what ultimately will be more games than anyone ever.
So you're the show the youngest to score any amount of points. It's LeBron. Every single threshold is LeBron. So he's the youngest, but now he's also the oldest right. to get to 39 and 40 because nobody's ever done those at any age. And he's and this is where you know people will throw around compiler. It's not compiling when you are still excellent. Yeah. When you're still an All NBA level guy. He's not doing this by playing 27 years in the last seven, right. averaging 14 a game. He's still one of the top 10 scorers in the league. He's doing it in a year right now where he's shooting better from three than Steph Curry this season. And so how can someone catch him? Well, I'll give you the three best candidates of different generations of guys playing right now and what it would mean not for them to catch LeBron, just for them to get to 40,000. Because right, they keep in mind, LeBron's still going. So this is each guy, different generations, and I'll show you why I picked him in a moment, but how far they are away. But what does that actually mean? So for Durant, what does Durant have to do? If he averaged 30 a game for the rest of his career, he would have to play six years longer than LeBron plays. Not six, six more years to get to 40, but then he also has to catch everywhere else LeBron went. And right now, he and LeBron score the same amount. Okay, what about Luka? Let's give Luka 32 and a half points per game for the rest of his career. He'd have to play 70 a year. He's only done that once ever. Right. And play 13 more. Okay, what about Wimby? Because the 13 more is not, like, no, completely but, out of the question. But right, What about Wimby? Let's give Wimby, sorry if it's a little hard to read, 35 a game. Okay. Okay. He just had to do it for 16 straight years. Can he do it? No. It's not possible. Because LeBron started younger than everyone and is now going older than everyone and played more minutes than people do now. So it's just not a realistic goal. It's when we talked about this before and I screwed up Walter Matthewson's name, or maybe I said it again, where it's Walter Johnson, Chrissy Matthewson. I've done it twice. But it's, you look at some of those guys, it's like, oh, he had 400 complete games. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, that's like <laughs> – well, yeah, it, the, those the, And so right, it's basically. just – these are – I don't think we'll – Brew, Wilt held the scoring record for 27 years. Kareem then held it for 39 years. Like, the idea that someone's going to break this in our lifetime – History says they won't. Yeah. The average length is three decades that they hold. Those over. numbers are, are very compelling. Um, and, and with the minutes that guys are playing, Wimby's playing 28 minutes a night. Right. And I don't blame him. I'm blaming the Spurs. I, I just I like to see him play more. But he, I'll give you 28 two, minutes a night. 28.7 so, like, minutes a night. I, I pulled LeBron's durability. When he was 20, he played 42 minutes right. a night. Yeah. And how so, many games? So, uh, and do you have like eight, 80, 80 games? Right, that's the thing. So. They're not like, whether it's, I mean, some of it's the team, some of it's the player, they're not playing as much, which is huge for this type of thing. I will, if guys would play the minutes that LeBron played, like if they just start playing more, like yep. they used to, here's two things that make me wonder. I don't think it's as an unbreakable as Wilt's 100. But I do, like I said, oh, your numbers are. I think are, Wilt's 100 is way more breakable. We've seen I, guys. I, 81, obviously. And right. Seven, well, a couple guys 70 this year? If, if the, three, the, the prominence of the three-point shot makes me wonder. Because guys are scoring more now individually because their shootings, half their shots are worth three. Steph's taking 12 threes a game. Luka's taking 10 threes yep. a game. That's probably, unless there's a rule change, it's only going to increase. Yep. So if, if – 50 to 60 maybe percent of my shots are worth three points, then my score is going to go up. So that's one thing. Now, again, you still have to do it for incredibly long. Wimby makes me wonder because, like I said, he's only playing 28 minutes a game. This last month he's averaged like 23 points. But, he, but I, look, your numbers, like I said, it's hard to imagine playing. I he gave can Wimby get hurt. 35 points per night. He would have to do that years. for 16 straight years with no injuries and playing more than he's playing right now as a healthy rookie. Yeah, Those Seth, numbers make you say, how did LeBron get there? And the <laughs> answer is start at 18, which none of these guys right. do, mm -hmm. and average 27 and a night get hurt. for 21 years and never get hurt. Yeah, he missed 40 Super games or 39 games in his first 10 years. Yeah. So it doesn't work. Here's the other thing about just quickly. Yeah. 
Uh, Tim McMahon asked Luca about trying to chase when he broke uh, Kareem's record. And this is a quote that I like. It's a long time to play basketball. I'd rather go back to my farm in Slovenia. There, there's also an element of wanting to do it. Like LeBron just really Ooh, enjoys it, still competing a on a higher level. It's not like, yeah, you know what? I've got a billion dollars. I can probably He's got all the money. He's got all out. the accolades. Yeah. And he still pushes. Wants it. So you know yeah, why? That, that is because of guys like us. You got to catch Jordan. <laughs> well, well, we so have, I don't out. know what else he could be shooting for. And again, some people already think he's gotten there, but what else could he be shooting for? Well, I think the, from a the active, goat no, I think I think the only competitive carrot is the goat stuff. I think the other part of it is I think he loves basketball. Yeah, that's right. I, I think he loves basketball, and <laughs> I think he wants. We can talk about people. Oh, you can make so much money doing a lot of things. There are not a lot of things LeBron James could do right now that guarantee him sixty million dollars a year salary. Mm -hmm. And if the goal is to own an NBA team one day. Accumulating as many sixty million dollar a year years nice. is an important, you know what I mean, an important yeah. factor to it. And he's great at it. Uh, LeBron will finish the season with eight thousand more points than Jordan. Uh, the longevity argument not even close. Uh, but how much do you think this should factor into the goat debate? I don't think it, it's certainly not the deciding factor. If it were, Kareem would have been viewed as the goat. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was a by far the highest score, you know, until LeBron broke his record. And, and Nick, in, in sports, we tend to take peak over longevity. Right. As long as your peak was in a substantial career. You can't peak, have a great peak for four years and, oh, he's the GOAT. No. Yeah. As long as you had a legitimately lengthy career, we've, we've always tended to say peak over longevity. In, in football, Emmitt Smith, the leading rusher, very few people think he's the best ever. Some will say he's the best running back, but most will take a Barry Sanders, a Jim Brown, Eric Dickerson, or somebody else because their peaks were higher. Yeah. Um, in baseball, Hank Aaron obviously was the home run leader until Barry Vines, but Hank Aaron never hit 50 home runs in a year. So he, he was called the home run king because of the longevity, but a Babe Ruth, he wasn't a called Barry the best Vines, baseball player. Right, right. Really he was never viewed was, as the GOAT. I agree with right. you. Right. So I, I think in that regard, even the NBA, Hey, Magic Johnson, who I think is by far the greatest passer ever, is seventh in assists. Now, we, we get his, his career was cut short, yeah. but still, he, I, I think, you know, these are examples of how we view peak over longevity. I agree with you on that, where I will push back and where I don't even think I'm pushing back against you. No. I, th here is, I think, the simplest way to put it. There is an argument to be made that LeBron's peak was higher than Jordan's. There is an argument to be made that Jordan's peak was higher. Mm -hmm. But I will put the 27-game winning streak year, the year he was finals MVP, league MVP, second-place defensive player of the year, and talking about the right. Heat in 2013, up, or 2014, up against anything Jordan ever did. I, I will. I, and so, he, and at least, wow. can we agree that there is an argument that LeBron at his peak – is as good as Jordan at his peak. You, I, 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 an argument. I, I think. You don't think there's think, an argument? I think Jordan's peak was better. Okay. Okay. Now I, close. I, okay. But he was defensive player of the year and MVP. I, I understand. And LeBron was three votes shy of defensive player of the year and MVP. He wasn't that's fine. But that, that's the but and I, six championships in eight years. Okay. Even okay. Give so eight we're, years. so now you're talking about like extended peak. I, not singular peak. So, like, you're you're calling yeah, peak, peak the exact amount of time that Jordan won championships. No. That, well, you I just mean, said individually, six and eight years, I'm, but that's the, yeah, that's part of it. But the, the, the years before he won the championship, his peak was high too. So now hold, hold, LeBron, wait. we're talking about. I mean, you, if you're going to talk about the years before LeBron won championships, well, because the MVP and Defensive Player of the Year year was what year? The eighty. Yeah, right. He did not. Right. Not so sure. not he didn't Jordan's win the championship peak. That year. There, it's weird. So like, I don't know. We're kind of confusing it. That's fine. I think the peaks are similar. The longevity's not. Mm -hmm. So it, it, the longevity is not a close call. LeBron is unquestionably. 88 was the year. Right. So, yeah. so was that his peak or not? It was during his peak. Okay, so Jordan's peak was when? But, but Nick. Jo See, this, no, the longevity, I'm, I'm asking. But the longevity argument can work against LeBron, too. Uh, because the more longer you play and less you win champ. Okay. Hold on, let me, yeah. let me state it. 
Jordan won six championships in 15 years. And, and that's in counting two when he played like 17 and 18 games, okay? But 15 years, that's a championship every two and a half years. LeBron has won four in 20 years. That's one every five years. Jordan won it twice the rate. And if LeBron keeps playing and doesn't win, it's going to be like the number. It's like a Wilt Chamberlain. Like, the numbers are outstanding. He's rewriting the individual record book. But when you talk about the winning, he didn't so, win close to as much as Jordan. So, when you say 6 and 15 years, we're not counting the years. Jordan. Like, it's not, it's not 15. I'm counting championships. Hold, I'm not on. counting appearances no, in the no, finals. No, hold on. I'm talking about <laughs> 15. <laughs> no, I'm, no I'm, the 15 years that you're counting is not 15 consecutive years. No, it's years. the 15, years he, 15 seasons he played basketball. Right, but, there's, but that's Why not 15 years in a years, row. The because, years he because was this president is just, of the Wizards? No, no, the years, no because he <laughs> stopped playing that. and then went back to basketball and stopped right. playing and went back to basketball. So, I, so I'm just asking, in your opinion, if LeBron James had retired for, from 17 to 19, and then re- also, by the way, retired right after his one championship with the Lakers. He would have a better goat case. It'd be sick though because if he played, then he like, had four baseball. in sixteen that, that, years. That, that, that right. is totally not what I'm the, saying. What I'm saying is for they both played a certain amount of seasons. No, I get it. All right, but you're, I'm not counting retirement. No, no I understand because I could I could sit here and say Jordan would have won eight had no, he not no, retired. That, I'm not going to say that. That's not what I'm trying to. That's that's not what, what I'm trying to say. But what you said <laughs> at the end there is somehow that if LeBron keeps playing at this level longer, if he has four championships win. in 23 seasons, right? So if he pl- how so, you going to compare so, that to Michael okay, Jordan? So, so six this, so again, in it, it, and you're 15. not a count the rings guy, but everything you've said here has been the rings. No, because it's dominance. The, so it's dominance. Like right now, you're... LeBron is playing great. Mm-hmm. Is he playing close to what he did when he was at no, his peak? No, of course not. Why? And how he, do we know that? Because the numbers are the same. Because we can watch him play. Uh, we, we can, can look see. at the wins and losses, too. Sure, yeah. That's, that's a- what we can absolutely. do. And if, you're yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. He is not, right now, at 39 years old, he is not nearly as good as young LeBron, but he's way better than 39-year-old Jordan. By any metric. The, well, by this is what I'll give you. Like, the longevity argument is for LeBron. But, it's, but you say. The peak argument you, is, you, it, to me, it's not you, an you argument. Ju- you just it's throw Jordan. longevity out there, and I think it is too dismissive of the fact that we would, if we sat down here and said, hey, who was better at 18? Who was better at 19? Who was better at 20? Who was better at 21? Who was better at you 22? Know, Kareem. The, oh, I mean, if you want to just say I'm that. I'm so glad you said that. We're I'm talking so about glad NBA you said go, that. Nick. We're I, not talking about no. high school. We're not talking no. about college. Kareem well, and Jordan I, were in college. I, I got at it. At 18 and okay, 19. Okay, so, so if they were in college and LeBron was in the NBA, the better NBA player at 18 was LeBron. And the better, not, I mean, okay, I, then no, it, no, Jordan's I mean, rookie, right, that's nonsensical. fine. That's fine. No, we're not. Jordan's rookie year at 22. He's in the NBA, right? Yeah. Agreed. And LeBron's in the finals. Who was better at 22? You, I, at, at 22, I don't know. You don't know. See, this is, Jordan, did this Jordan, did LeBron <laughs> have four years uh, with the Cavs? Okay. Now that was a great run. The, but to <laughs> say he was, Jordan was awesome as a rookie. Right. So you, right. So you think it's a debate about if Michael Jordan and his 35 win Bulls team was better than that he was better individual? than 22. Who was the better was, yeah, individual than LeBron player. the year they went LeBron to the LeBron had a better team. Look, really? I'm not even sure about that being the case. Yeah, but LeBron, right. they, the 40, beat, they beat the championship. In the 48 Pistons. special year, you think yeah. there's a chance that rookie Michael Jordan was better? Really? I, I, I would likely give it to LeBron. Okay. So the point that I was trying to make is, and we know that but, at 36, 37, 38, 39, it's LeBron. Jordan wasn't that. even playing at it, 36. Which is why we know it was LeBron. If the That's guy, fine. We're not playing. talking about who was better at this age. We're talking about who had who was better during their NBA career. And Michael yeah. Jordan locked down the entire NBA it, yeah. like I mean, no one else. Say that, it's it's true. Not true. It, really? Those yeah. seven years he played. The seven years No, he hold on. LeBron didn't lock down the Eastern Conference his whole career. He locked it down for a eight games, eight year stretch. 
That's how, that's how he locked down the East when he went to the finals eight straight years. Jordan locked the entire league down for six straight years that he played. Or six of seven. We'll give you that. Well, you're not giving me anything. That's just the facts. It's, okay. Yeah. That's the fact. Okay, so so were, would you rather have somebody who dominated his conference but got to the no. other conference and got beat? No. Or somebody who put the no. whole league but I, on But line? I'm really glad you put it in those terms because you are correct. For six of eight seasons – Michael Jordan won the championship, which is locked down the league. LeBron, on the other hand, well, six of did, seven seasons and, that he played. Okay, but there were eight NBA seasons. Michael Jordan opted Didn't not to participate one. in one of them. So he's going to get punished for that. I, I, I'm just saying. I mean, the, that's what it sounds like. You punished him calendar because he retired. Was. I'm just saying what the calendar <laughs> was. And then my, LeBron James for four of I got to do it in my head real quick. Four of nine seasons locked down the league. Right? Yeah. It would be from that's 12 not locking to 20. down. 94 uh, okay. 9 isn't but, locking but, down. And then on the front, locking down is like a, a stretch. On the front and the where back. Where you're getting end there of that. every year. I, right, but he. Right. He got to the finals every year, but he didn't lock no, down the league. Okay, he locked no, down the East. Right. And if we are going to do this thing where you're right, he's because he's not going to get to six, most likely. Where it is simply that. One guy got to six and the other guy won six and the other guy didn't, then what then none of this will matter. Then none of it will matter. And I know that's where you're at Wild. But, that but none of what will matter. Then if, if LeBron if gets we, to fifty thousand points, it won't matter. Not, Nick, right? you think you think I, I don't think the peaks the LeBron I think is the second greatest player ever. So his of course there's it's relatively close. Okay. But I don't think anyone can say at their peak. Who was better, LeBron James or Michael Jordan, and say LeBron? I think it's clearly Jordan, and I think longevity is clearly LeBron. So which do you take? Would you no. rather longevity or would you no, rather but peace? I, what I'm the, – the point I was trying to make, Brew, is if, if Michael Jordan – and I don't agree with you on the peak thing, but let me just give it to you. If Michael Jordan's peak is a 100 out of 100 rating, and LeBron's okay. peak as the second best player ever, call it a 97 out of 100 rating. Longevity, LeBron is by definition 100 out of 100, mm-hmm. and Jordan was about an 80. Jordan had a lot of guys play a lot more. Yeah, and, but, but and, longevity and, is still not. Uh, so, as, so you're saying it, it, think, you're almost saying it doesn't matter at all because one one gap is this close, and some I, people would say it's flipped the other way, and the other gap is this big and getting wider and wider. But it. it I get it. Look, it's it's a, what LeBron. I don't want to take away from what LeBron's doing because the longevity is incredible. But if you're not like they're the tenth seed right now in the West. I mean, Le, Le, Michael Jordan. What? what were they? At thirty nine like years old as the Wizards. Seed. I'm just yeah, curious. yeah. They were the ninth or tenth seed yeah, in that it, year. Yeah. Okay. So had they had to play yeah. it, maybe they would have been in the playoffs okay. too. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.